Shout out to the homie, man. You know what I'm saying? My guy, yeah. My dude, Mikey T, man. Y'all on Report Car Radio, man. You know what it is, yeah. You feel me? So, yo, another current topic I want to ask you about is Floyd Mayweather's exhibition fights. Man, what's been your take on those? <laughs> uh, like, I love, I love to see it. You know what I'm saying? You know who, who don't want to watch Floyd in the ring, man? You know what I'm saying? He's an entertaining dude. Uh, you know, and and for the and at the same time, man, like, like what's up with with the exhibition shit, man? Just get back in the fucking ring. Like, if you want to box, like, like just box. Don't play with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't play with it. You hear me? For real, for real. You know. For real, because that's the thing, right? Like, if you lose one of these exhibitions, do that count as a loss on your record? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you, you might as well just get in the ring for real, you know? For real. But shout out to Floyd, man. For real. You remember the only, only, only undefeated athlete. So what's your take on Floyd and 50 actually talking about an ex exhibition fight? Uh... How can I get the front row seats? Who I gotta call first? <laughs> who I who I gotta call first? Yeah? Do I gotta? You know what I'm saying? Should I text Fifty first or should I text Floyd first? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> huh? That would be the fight that sells. You know, they actually had to push Logan Paul and Floyd back, but Floyd says he will take on Fifty at the end of the year if Fifty really wants it. Now Fifty was saying. Yo, Floyd, Floyd probably won't fight me because of the weight difference. Now, let me hit you with a little fact. Logan Paul weighs 190 pounds. Yeah. And, and Floyd has gone further to say in the fight against 50, he doesn't care about the weight. The only thing he cares about yeah. is yeah, I know. Take all. I know. I already know Floyd is not backing down, man. And at the same time, you know, it's a good way for them to settle any kind of differences that they had. You know what I'm saying? What's, but what better way to do that than professionally at that? You know what I mean? In the ring. You feel me for real? Like, I, I you know, it, that'll definitely be must-see TV right there. <laughs> It'll definitely be must-see TV. You know, that's the one aspect that I think that would get the fight canceled, the winner-take-all aspect. Do you think that's something that's realistic? Uh, depends on what kind of all that you're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, if they put a a big bet on it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But as far as, like, like all of what? You know what I'm saying? All of, you know what I mean, this person's assets? Like, all of, you know what I mean? Like, all of what? You feel like me? Like, say it was a $60 million pot, a $75 million pot. Oh, oh well, yeah, that, that's, you know, that, that's definitely, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey. You feel me, shoot? How much confidence do you got in yourself? That's what you got to ask. You know what I'm saying? For real, what's that? What you, sure, you know, how much confidence do you got in yourself? You know what I'm saying? For real. But I'm going to ask you this, though, Mike. Who would you put your money on? All right. So in that situation, <laughs> all right, you got to look at it, right? You look at it like 50 <laughs> versus Ja Rule. Ja Rule's a similar side to Floyd, I would imagine. Now, the one difference between Ja Rule and Floyd is that Floyd's hands are like registered dangerous weapons. Exactly. That's why I would have to put my money on Floyd in that situation. How about you, Kid Kid? Yeah, yeah I'm putting my money on Floyd. <laughs> because he, you know, this is what he does. You know what I'm saying? For real, like that's his, you know, that was his actual job. You know what I mean? Like, he's actually trained for it. He got the wind for it. He got the, you know what I'm saying, the hand speed. He know, I, you know, he's a technician inside of the ring. You know what I mean? So, you know, you had to go, go with Floyd. You know what I mean? Because it's not a street fight. It's right. a professional fight. You know what I'm saying? Now, in a street fight, you know what I'm saying, they were just fighting in the street. You feel me? I go with 50 because he got the sides and he could just, you know, he could grab Floyd and slam him and you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, fuck over him from there. But in a professional fight, you got to go with Floyd. Okay. Yep. And that's why, uh, you know, that's why ultimately I don't think it'll happen if it's going to be a winner takes all aspect. But I think something like a 30, 
a $40 million price tag could get 50 to sign on for this fight. And it would be the most yeah. popular fight out of all the exhibitions. Yeah. Man, that man, ew, ew. not even out of all the ex exhibitions. Out of all boxing, <laughs> like, out of all boxing, period. Like, just because, you know what I'm saying? Because of who they are, you know what I'm saying? All the past feuding that they had going to be brought back up. Like, it's going to, you know, it's, 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 it's gonna, it, it'll be crazy. It's gonna sh it, it'll shake the world, I'll tell you that. It'll shake the world. So, yo, kid, kid, let me ask you, have you ever had the chance to be in the same space as 50 and Floyd? Have I? Man, hell yeah, man. Uh, like, when I first when I first got with 50, man, like, after we, after we got off tour, after we got off tour from overseas, that's the first place we went. We went to Vegas, you know what I'm saying? Straight to Florida House. You know what I mean? For real, you know, uh, we partied. Everything stuff like that, you know, for real. You did some, you know, something happened that I, I don't know if I should talk about it. You did because I'm, you know, in a relationship now. But you know, it was in the past, but it was in the past, you know what I'm saying? Man, Floyd, bro, Floyd, the first brother, he didn't that nigga gave me my first threesome, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, bro. That Boy, nigga sent two man. chicks. Yeah, bro. That nigga sent two chicks to my room. You know what I'm saying? To this look, to this day, to this day, I still got that room key. You know what I'm saying? I still got that room key. You know what I'm saying? For real, the room key got, you know, Floyd me with the name on it and everything. I still got that room key, bro. Like, I'll never forget that, bro, because, you know, I, I still I had the colostomy bag on and all that around that time. And, yeah, yeah, look, I'll never forget, bro. Look, uh, he came, he would, he would tell me, like, yo, like, you like, you good, right? Like, everything work on you, right? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I swear, bro. Like that's how you came at me, bro. He like everything works on you, right? I yeah, that in our last interview. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I like you were gonna have to deal with models with the colostomy bag. Hell yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, bro. He like, all right, all right, all right. So look, there one chick, you know, that was there. He was like, look, you, you, yeah, you, look, you go to the room with him now, like, you know what I'm saying? Look, so so you know, I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you know, with her, you know what I'm saying? You know, we doing our thing for him. Now I got the dope on. So I'm thinking it's housekeeping or some shit, right? Now the other chick, she's already on game. Like, she already knows another girl coming, but I didn't know. So I'm thinking it's housekeeping. So I'm like, oh, we all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah we straight. And you know, the, uh, the chick like, no, no, go to the door. Go get the door. Get the door. So I'm like, bitch, you dig? We fucking right now. Like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Go get she's like, the door. No. Yeah, like, she's like, go ahead, get the door, get the door. I'm like, all right, cool. And I open the door, it's another bit. You know what I'm saying? That was straight, like on some fucking, like, coming to America movie shit, bro. Like, I open the door, bro. That was really like, present from Floyd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. That's, that's all she said, like, present from Floyd. The you know perks. Came, perks, came got nigga. I'm like, oh my god! Like, you know what I'm saying for real. Yeah, it was too bad, but it took, like, man, I was like, yo, this nigga flawed the truth. And this was look in real talk, bro. This was my first time meeting Floyd. You know, this was my first time meeting Floyd. You know what I'm saying? You know, so like after that, after that, man, it was like, yo, like you know, I had. Always had like the utmost respect for him, love, whatever, and that thing, man. And as time went on, you know, like we was always fucking with Flaw. Like even when I go to Vegas by myself, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I holler at him. You know what I mean? For real. Flaw the real cool nigga, bro. For real. Flaw let you drive his cars and everything. <laughs> like real talk. Like I ran I ran into Floyd last year, you know what I'm saying? A couple months ago in Miami. I ran into him in Miami. And, uh, you know, I seen him, you know what I'm saying? Same love, you know what I mean? Kid, what's up, man? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're looking good, man. You know, what you doing? You're doing the next thing you're dropping. When, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was always that kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? For real, man. So, shout out to Floyd, bro, because he, he, he a real dude, for real, bro. He a real one. He a real one. All right, so what I wanted to ask you next was, uh, what, type of, uh, what type of a friendship could you see that Floyd Mayweather and 50 had, though? Um, they they really they really really had a, a brother a brotherly friendship, bro. You know what I'm saying? They had a brotherly friendship, bro. And even when they started like with the little 
you know, tit for tat thing. You know, that's how you got to look at it. It's just that they famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like if you're a bigger brother, you always fucking with your little brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's your little brother. You always going to fuck with him. You always going to pick on him. You always going to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? But you still love him to death. You know what I mean? And I, and I feel like that's that's the relationship that they have, bro. And even to this day, no matter how it looks publicly, you know what I mean? I know behind closed doors, man, them niggas got mad love for each other. For real. Thank you.